Hey friends, welcome back to this week's What's For Dinner. I am so excited about this week. I feel like everything was so delicious and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. As always, I want you to leave me a comment down below and let me know which recipe you are most excited to make. This video is also in collab with my friend Danielle. Her YouTube channel is Danielle Diaries and I will of course link it down below for you guys. She is amazing if you are wanting some awesome keto tips, weight loss motivation, like she is your girl. She is hilarious and all of her food always looks so yummy so I know you guys are going to love her so be sure that after you watch this video you head over to her channel and let her know that I sent you and if you are coming over from her channel I want to say hello I'm so excited that you're here I would love for you to join my YouTube family so make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave but let's go ahead and get cooking alright y'all so tonight for dinner we are actually gonna have a chicken alfredo spinach ravioli casserole say that three times fast Woof, I got through it. So anyways, I have a piece of chicken here that's been marinating. These are actually two chicken tenderloins that have also been marinating, both in like Italian dressing and like a garlic and herb little seasoning. Um, we just had them on separate nights, but Bunky is gonna grill those for us. And then I have this spinach and ricotta ravioli right here. And then I'm gonna make my Alfredo sauce and we're just gonna layer it up, throw some cheese on top, bake it in the oven. I thought that sounded really delicious. So warm and cozy and it is freezing today. Bunky said his toes have been cold. <laughs> My feet have been chilly all day. The high today was like 34 degrees. Which is really chilly to us here because it's been in like the 60s and stuff yeah. in January. Yes, it's been freezing. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, actually, Bunky just turned the grill on. So he's going to go ahead and start cooking the chicken. And then I'm going to go ahead and start making my Alfredo sauce. I don't know if I'm going to show you guys the whole thing of the Alfredo sauce just because I've shown it a million times. I will link a video though that like, actually, I'm just going to show it to you. Let's do it. never seen me make my alfredo sauce i know you're probably thinking like oh my gosh you put everything but the kitchen sink in there and yes i know i add some kind of funky things but i promise it tastes so good you will totally thank me later it has so much flavor way more than just like your typical alfredo sauce it's just so delicious so I'm just saying, try it my way one time. And I did forget the garlic. I cannot believe I forgot the garlic. But anyways, I usually put it in there when I do the crushed pepper flakes and I do lots of garlic. Gives it so much more flavor. Um, but I totally forgot it this time. my alfredo is just like kind of cooking down and reducing i'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of cheese to it that way it kind of like thickens it up and then gives it a little bit more flavor so we just have like this three cheese blend that's asiago parmigiano romano and then a little bit of mozzarella and then this will just cook for a few more minutes and it'll be done and hopefully the chicken will be done at the same time Y'all, I feel like I have not had chicken alfredo in so long and I am so excited about this. I think because Monkey and I do lots of what's for dinner so we try and like come up with like new fun recipes that sometimes it is so good to just like kick it old school and go back to basics because that alfredo sauce is amazing and I cannot wait to dig in. Although we've never really had it like this in the ravioli. Nope. So it's going to be different but still y'all, it is delicious so I cannot wait for this. Monkey, okay, I did try and make Remember, I yeah. tried to make something like this. You made it time. lasagna style. I didn't like it, but I think this is going to be really good. Yeah. I'm so excited. We'll okay, shot. so we have our little Pyrex here, and then the chicken is off of the grill. So Bunky's going to go ahead and slice that up like super thinly. And then I have the raviolis. You can do whatever kind of ravioli you want. We just thought that the spinach in there kind of give it some greens and a good change up from all the white. <laughs> um, so anyways, we're going to put a layer of Alfredo sauce in here and then a layer of raviolis, a layer of chicken, a little bit of mozzarella, and then if we have some left over, we'll do another layer and then bake it in the oven. We have the oven at 400 degrees. We'll cook it and then tell you guys how long it takes. <laughs> you look scary. All 
Our sauce looks so good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start layering. You know what I think I would have liked in here? What? Some of those cherry tomatoes that I have over mm. there. I wonder if I can shove a few in there. Yeah, you want some? Yeah. I do realize that these might get a little juicy and kind of run around a little bit. Okay, so I have it covered with tin foil. I'm gonna pop it in the oven probably for about 10 or 15 minutes and let it cook covered and then we'll take the tin foil off and let it cook for about another 10 more minutes uncovered. Thank you, B. Hey. Oh, it smells good. Ooh, is it hot? Scared. I was like, what is red in there for cracker uh. tomatoes? Oh, look, the little ravioli's like turning green because it has spinach in there. <laughs> it looks amazing. Okay, so it's been in the oven for about 20 minutes, covered with tin foil. So now we're gonna um, pop it back in there for probably another 10 or 15 minutes and let it get kind of brown on top and then it will be ready to eat. I feel like this piece of chicken needs to go like down there. Of course you do. <laughs> it's gonna get burnt. I just want to like see the ravioli. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Is getting soft? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, I hear it bubbling, so he's gonna take it out. Oh my gosh, Bunky, it looks so good. It does look pretty tasty. Oh my goodness. Now we just have to like let it sit there for... <laughs> yeah, it's gonna have to cool off before we can eat this, but y'all, it looks so good and it smells amazing. I think you're gonna love your little cherry tomatoes in there. Yeah, look at the sides. I know. I oh. see you over there peeking mm. at it. Yep. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat this. I seriously look at the side down there. Does that Ooh. side look cool? Mm -hmm. You have the longest eyelashes. Thank you. Can I touch them? Mm-hmm. So sweet. Oh, I am in cheesy pasta heaven. I cannot wait to try this. <laughs> you gonna get yours, B? I'm gonna get some, girl. Oh my gosh, I am like literally drooling. <laughs> my opinion is that it is amazing, and I will definitely be making this again. B, what's your opinion? You're eating. I like it very much. It's a good. It's a good spin on the old classic that we have. Mm-hmm. Do you like your tomatoes with it? I do. You like it needs it. Needs it. Mm hmm It's good with the tomato. A little bit of acid in there. Yeah. What about if you put shallots in there? I thought about that too. Yeah. For those of you who are not picky like me, if you put like shallots and tomatoes, probably delicious. Or you could do like roast red peppers. Yes. Mm. That would actually be amazing. We'll see if I can do it again. Chicken Alfredo spinach stuffed ravioli casserole is what's for dinner. <laughs> Baked. Baked. All right, y'all. So tonight for dinner, we are having a salad, but to make it a little bit better and more tasty, we're gonna do some pan seared chicken. I was gonna do actually like fried chicken on top, but I was like, well, pan seared would be a little bit more healthy. So I'm gonna take a couple of these chicken breasts, cut them in half, and then I'll do like my egg wash, flour, breadcrumbs, and then um, toss them in the pan with some olive oil and, you know, lightly fry them on both sides. And then I already have some cheese grated up here. It's just some Colby Jack. I have our homemade ranch dressing, and then I have some 
iceberg, romaine, kale, carrots, all kinds of stuff in there. And then we have some croutons, some leftover bacon that we're gonna heat up and put on top. I have a red onion for bunky, some cucumber, and then some tomatoes. I think it's gonna be a really yummy salad, but first things first, we gotta get this chicken going. Okay, so I have my dredging station right here. That is a really hard word for me to say. How do you say it, B? Dredging. My dredging. Dredging. Dredging station. That is very hard to say. So I have my eggs. This is just two eggs that I whisk together. And then I have my flour and I have some breadcrumbs. And I'm going to add seasonings to both of these just so my chicken has a lot of flavor. So you guys know would it be a recipe without some ranch seasoning. So I'm going to add a little bit of this to both of those. And then I'll throw in a few extra little oregano leaves. And I actually had this Italian seasoning packet that you can like make um, different recipes out of. But also Italian salad dressing. But I thought the seasoning sounded really good. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that into my breadcrumbs as well. And then of course, just some black pepper and garlic powder. You can add in whatever flavors you want. Make it your own. That's just kind of the stuff that we like. So I'm gonna go ahead and start dredging this. Bunky is starting on um, my... Cuke. Cuke. He's starting on all the veggies. Actually, I can't start dredging this till you put the chicken. So we'll just do veggies first. We're getting the veggies taken care of on the clean cutting board. And then we're gonna get it dirty with the chicken. Look at you always thinking, B. I know. Do you want these seeds in there? I don't care. Oh, okay. By the way, I want to address why I don't eat onions because so many of you are like, what the heck is wrong with you? Cook them, you'll like them. No, I cannot do it. First of all, the smell of them, I do not like at all. I don't care. Actually, when they're sauteed, I don't mind the smell as bad, but I am a texture person. So like, I hate bananas, whipped cream, anything that's like smushy. What else, Bunky, do I hate? Yogurt. Yogurt. Like, I can't eat mayonnaise by itself, but I love ranch dressing. So weird. Um, so, I'm a textured person for sure. And for some reason, the texture of onions makes my skin turn. And I have literally thrown up every single time I have ever eaten them. And I've never eaten them on purpose. Like, it's like when I got a cheeseburger from McDonald's when I was a kid. And, like, in my Happy Meal, we'd ask for no onions. And then I'd bite into it and it had onions on it. I would, like, throw up immediately. Not that you guys want to know or hear me talk about throwing up. But anyways, I'm just saying that's why I don't like onions and I cannot eat them. Okay, so now that we have all our veggies cut up, Bunny's gonna go ahead and do our chicken. And we're just gonna take, I wanna do two though, so, so I can have some for lunch. Okay. So we'll take two chicken breasts and then slice them in half. That way they are easier to saute or fry up, whatever you wanna call it, in the pan and they won't take as long um, and they'll cook through more evenly and that these way. things are huge. They're massive. Yeah. And then we're gonna save the rest of them for something else, like the freezer. pan over here and I just have it on medium heat with some olive oil in it and I'm gonna go ahead and start placing my chicken breast in there so they should sizzle I think it's pretty hot yeah it's perfect these are humongous and they've been trimmed it only fits two at a time yeah 
So anyways, I'll let these guys get brown on both sides and I'll probably pop them in the oven actually for a few minutes just to make sure that they are cooked all the way through the center as well. But they are gonna be so yummy on top of a salad. The chicken is out of the oven. It was only in there for about 10 minutes, I would say. I already took a bite, it was so good. And then in here, I just have some bacon reheating. And then Bucky and I are gonna go ahead and start assembling our salads. And I'll show you once we get it all plated up. And this, my friends, is what's for dinner tonight. Y'all, it looks so good. Bunkies, of course, is much prettier than mine, <laughs> always. But I'm so excited, it is gonna be delicious. B is having some balsamic vinaigrette with his, and then he's doing some more blue cheese as well. Um, and he hasn't gotten his chicken yet. Yeah. What? Oh, nothing. I'm just, Are you excited? I'm ready, I'm ready to eat. Me too, it looks so good. And tonight, Bunky's gonna tell us what we're having for dinner because this is what he requested that we have. So let it, us know, B. It was, uh, <laughs> we are having some hamburger meat. I'm just kidding, it's ground beef. Oh my gosh, you are so silly with what this. What is hamburger meat? Because what are we making with it? We're making blue cheese stuffed cheeseburgers and we're gonna yeah. use our little Cuisinart burger press. This is actually made to stuff burgers. Um, I bought it on Amazon, so I'll link it below for you guys if you wanna try it out too. But it just helps you like stuff them more easily. And then what else are we having? Um, just a couple of <laughs> stuffed, wait, what are these called? Jalapeno poppers. Uh huh. We're each gonna get one. <laughs> yeah, we just, yeah, that's all we need. We, we only just need one in one. one. Yeah, but we're, we're, yeah, and then some fries, and then some roasted Brussels sprouts. So I'm gonna roast some Brussels in the oven, just the normal way that I do them. They're super simple and easy. That way we have something green. And then I love the thin, thin cut french fries, because it reminds me of like restaurant style. And we have our little fry daddy here. We actually got this all famous on too, so I'll link that as well. Yep. But we're just gonna um, take that outside, obviously. Heat it up, and then throw these in. And Bunky's gonna grill our burgers. That sounds delicious. And that's what's for dinner tonight. Oh, and Bunky made me my favorite little blood orange margarita. Yes, I did. Okay, okay. let's do it. Okay. Over here making us our little this is like our little appetizer mm -hmm. appetizer so he just like thinly sliced a little sliver off of the top so and like hollowed it out so it's really deep and then put a few little pieces of bacon that we had already previously cooked and now he's gonna stuff it with mozzarella plenty of mozzarella no less and then are you going to just grill these top rack grilling session okay a little bit of salt a little garlic powder. You want some Yes, please. Okay. Just give a little, little gentle mix here. And yes, I am mixing it in the same tray <laughs> because I feel like getting nothing dirty. Okay. Okay. I feel like we're very spicy tonight. Do you feel that way? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a full moon, Bonky. Mm -mm. No, I made that up. But it might be. Maybe that explains it. It was rather bright out last night when I rolled the trash can in. I just slammed. Okay. Or do you want your little burger press? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, look at you putting those in two little perfect. You didn't even see that happen, did Gosh, you? Gosh, no. Go get that out of there. Okay. This this yeah. little gadget is for sliders, right? Yeah. So basically, you have your little doodad. <laughs> your little doodad. The base. That's and then you, the base. Burr, burr, burr. That's the press top. You like how I did that? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Um. Well, I guess there's, you know, we're just, I'm just going to touch all this stuff because we're going to wash it this way. I think you can like use this. Of course, you, you did this earlier. But I think you can use this to just kind of like smush it down a little bit and fill it out. Keep pushing. Yeah, I don't know. I want to do that by hand. I don't want to smush it like too hard. Oh my gosh, Monkey, that is what it's made for. I know, but I don't want my hamburger to be like too like smush together you know I don't mind I don't think oh I was about to say and then and then this has like this indention area okay and I you just take it and like smush yourself a little crevice oh wow look at that oh that's beautiful that's pretty neat okay you want me to put the blue cheese in there <clears throat> yeah I'm not doing something you know, else I don't think we need to fill that all the way up with blue cheese. Okay. Maybe though. Try and get the real broken up pieces too. Okay. Wow. That's that's probably good right there. Yeah. That's beautiful. I would say that's enough. <laughs> I could literally just eat blue cheese. Is that weird? No. Mm, so and then I'm actually just going to kind of like form this out a little bit. Just make it a little bit more reasonable. Ouch. I keep hitting my leg. I'm putting this thing up. And then you put it back on there and then you're supposed to smush it again. There you go. And flop her out. I can put on here. Mm-hmm. And then you just push the bottom. Oh, that is so smart. Yeah. Bada bing. Bam. I'm still gonna pinch the edges a little bit though. And there you have it. That is great. Oh my gosh, I don't have shoes on. Y'all, we got this chimenea and we're obsessed. Oh, look at our little things. Looks like there's a lack of uh... What? Yeah. These things are massive. Yeah. Munchy. just brought the brussels sprouts out they are not fully cooked um but i like to just take them out kind of halfway and flip them and then i'm just going to drizzle a little bit of this balsamic um glaze on top as well as a little bit of honey and then pop them back in for just a few minutes and then they'll be done what you doing oh i can't tell you it's experimental can you show us no, is that thing still on? Yeah. Oh, let's just say I have an onion slice. What do you mean? I mean that I have an onion slice. What are you doing that's experimental? I can't tell you, it's an experiment. Say bye camera. Yes, these jalapenos be. Have you tried yeah. one? No, we only have two, but check out the, like, the bottom of it looks nice. Oh yeah. Oh, I asked you if you tried one of <laughs> them. Me okay, too. I'll try one right now. Okay. It's really hot. Whew, it's really hot. It's so hot. Mmm. So good. Mmm. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. We're taking some bacon out here now because <laughs> we're gonna put some bacon on these burgers. Okay. I feel like we're like so hyped. Oh, and you have the oil going. Let's turn drop some fries in a sec. I brought my flashlight so that I could show you guys. I will say this. What? I only shove mozzarella cheese in those things. Uh huh. It's definitely better when you actually use cream cheese. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's still good though. Like, okay, so I put American cheese on mine. Bucky put Swiss cheese on his, and then he's gonna put some bacon in there, stuff with blue cheese, and then I don't know what he's doing. This onion. is basically like. <laughs> <laughs> that was the experiment that oh, you yeah. were supposed to. That was experimental. 
Who got extra bacon? I'm kidding. There you go, some more bacon. Thank you, Bucky. Okay, got some more bacon. Okay, so those are almost done. I don't think my experiment is working out very well. It's not really curling it up, is it? Uh uh. You know why? Why be? No, I'll do my experiment because I love Jimmy Buffett. Because I'll be always thinking about the cheeseburger in paradise. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. And if y'all are thinking, what the heck? I think Bunky did this so that we didn't get rain in our chimney. Would that yeah, be correct? Correct. That's actually very smart. There's a, that's a temporary solution. But if you don't cover the top of it, then this fills up with just rainwater, and then all of your ashes get turned into like crud, whatever it turns into, and it's just gross. I just can't wait till it's a little bit warmer, and we can start using this bad boy again. Yeah. We okay. can finish oh, you got our bad. buns out here too. Oh, baby, hey, she scared herself. Yeah. I'm about to. Should I put that? I'm gonna go ahead and put those up there, huh? Yeah. Okay. Daisy May, what are you doing, silly girl? Silly girl. There's these little pieces in Daisy's food that she doesn't like, so she brings them over to the carpet and just leaves them. <laughs> it's so funny. Got your clogs back on. Mm -hmm. Here's our fry station. <laughs> I love that you um, rolled our little thing back so it doesn't get grease on it. Yep. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, don't be making nervous. Oh, shit. Did it, did it, it do it? It just hit me right, right here, literally. Oh my goodness. There you go. That's it. Brussels sprouts are done. They're out of the oven, and I've already eaten like three of them. They are amazing. And then over here, I just have Bunky's little fry bowl. We just put a little paper towel in here to catch any like excess grease. And then to season the fries, I'm going to do a little bit of this Bojangle seasoning. If y'all don't have it, it's amazing. And then a little bit of Lowry's. Take this to me. Oh, Bunky. Okay, our burger's already done. Come outside this looks so good. Out. Okay. You think they're done? Yeah, I think they float they're done. I don't know, I think they need like one more they're minute. Just, they're not the same color as like the, the other skit. I cooked, I cooked some truffle fries in there not long ago. They done? Mm-hmm. And um, I put some sage and garlic in there, and I can smell it in the oil so much. I know, I did too. I mean, they're hot, like, yeah. yeah they're, I'm sure they're done. They're good. We gotta make some more truffle fries soon. That is my jam. I thought that's what she was gonna do tonight. Oh, is that what you want? I don't think we have any sage. Except for like the powdery kind. We do. We do? Yeah. Hair. It's in the refrigerator. Well, let me go see. We might be having some different french fries. Hey, y'all. I did not know we had sage. I forgot. So I just took a good bunch off. Hang on, Monkey. Oh, sorry. And then, um, like, a big, huge piece of garlic. And Monkey's going to deep fry that. And then I'll chop it all up and toss it with our fries and some truffle oil. Oh, my gosh. I am the happiest girl ever right now. Let's do it. Come on. And, y'all, whenever you fry this, it literally takes, like, about a minute. That's it. Not long at all. Our garlic and our sage are fried up in no time. So I just like get it out of the bowl. Man, that is hot. Holy moly. Oh my goodness, that's so hot. What? It's just so hot. That's good. That's cool now. I know. And then I'm going to just chop this like super finely. Let me get some of these stems off. Uh-uh. it until I got basically this minced consistency. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump all of that in to my french fries and then I'm gonna top it with some truffle oil. It doesn't matter if it's, um, isn't it, it's just white truffle oil and black truffle oil? I think they taste a little bit different, but I don't. We've had both, we like them both. Anyways, Which one is that? the black. I think we always have black. Okay, anyways, so we're gonna do that. And then I have a little bit of this um, black truffle sea salt as well. So I'm gonna use that to salt them, dump this in, toss them around best french fries you will ever have in your entire life. Trust me. Trying to be fancy. No. This is what we always do. Just kidding. Do you do this? 
I'm not supposed to use tongs. Let me get in there. Oh my gosh, I want all that goodness down there. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh, y'all. You gotta be careful. With your fingers, get a little bit of everything. Best fries ever in the whole world. The cheeseburger burger is like so tall. It's taller than me. Are you able to eat that thing? No. There's blue cheese in the middle of it, too. I know. Okay, so for my burger, I have the blue cheese, regular cheese, bacon. I have some whole grain mustard, ketchup. We got some truffle fries, and then my Brussels. And that is what's for dinner tonight, and I am one excited girl. Show us what you got. Should I smush it a little bit? No. I have to. Okay, I smush it. I can't get my own. It's <laughs> juicy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, that's pretty good. Mmm. Can't really see it yet, but look at that blue cheese in the middle. Mmm, take a look. Oh, bite. look at it. Look. You know what's <gasps> Oh my you goodness. See it? Yeah, I see it. Mmm. So good. That's good. All right, friends, so that is going to do it for this week's What's for Dinner. I hope you enjoyed it. Like always, leave me a comment down below and let me know which recipe you are most excited to make. And be sure to head over to Danielle's channel and check out her What's for Dinner. I know she's going to have some really yummy recipes. So anyways, be sure that you hit that subscribe button before you leave if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.